Hello and welcome to Brain Critic, Anchor TV's movie review show. Today we're going to talk about that wonderful animation company that we all have come to love over the years. That's right, Pixar. With me are the usual suspects. To my left back, we've got the lovely Miss Carissa. And to my further left, we have Justin Frankie. Hi. And we're also not going to mention that whole four weeks that we didn't do anything at all. Just not going to... Four weeks, that's it. Was it four weeks? It was <laughs> it? much longer than that. Well, I mean... <laughs> anyway, we're here today. Woo! I'm actually more impressed about one thing. You didn't make a comment about me not calling you lovely this week. That's like going to be the first time since we started the show. What? Lovely. Almost every week I always say, behind me I have the lovely Miss Carissa, and then I, I just say, and here's Justin Frankie, and you're like, I don't get a compliment either. I do that? <laughs> I wasn't complimented either. That's how long it's been since we recorded Did something. I don't remember. Anyways. <laughs> it has been too long. All Pixar. right. So this week you're going to be talking about Pixar. Original idea would be just to pick one of these movies. Pixar was a great movie. I loved it. <laughs> the original idea was going to be just to talk about one of the Pixar movies, but they're also awesome. We decided we'll just bunch them up into one, to one big episode, and then maybe later on we'll do like some specific movies, like I think we said probably later on, we'll just do one episode solely on toys, the Toy Story trilogy. So, Toy Story. <laughs> so we'll probably do Toy Story trilogy later on. So we're probably not going to talk about that too much because we could probably spend a, too much time so on we gotta that. We got to get old Brian because to watch you, Toy Story three. Because you guys yes. know how how well we are about fitting all into one movie into half an hour. Yeah. We so just, it's a fantastic idea to fit a whole bunch of them in half an hour. So yeah. <laughs> No, we might go an hour on this one. We'll see. Oh, really? We'll Whoa. see. Ooh. All right. Taking on a big Make load. up some lost time. So Pixar, one of the few things I will thank Steve Jobs for ever creating is Pixar. He is partially responsible for the creation no of Pixar. Yes. Hmm, fun fact. He's the one who saved a co an animation company that was long cash. He gave him some money, and before you know it, we had all these amazing movies. Aw. Cool. So we can thank Steve Jobs for that one. So first Disney. Of, they first started with a bunch of shorts. That's how Pixar first started. Uh... One of the earliest ones was Luxo Jr., Luxo being the name of the lamp that's iconic for bouncing on top of the eye in the word Pixar. So it was a little short, Luxo Jr. with the little the little lamp hitting around a ball that he eventually pops. Then you had Tin Toy, which was the little toy being chased around by this scary-looking CGI baby. That was scary. I don't know, that one was... That was kind of scary. <laughs> the Creepy little kid. Diaper was bigger than the baby's head. Yeah. It was just... <laughs> That freaking diaper. <laughs> <laughs> that diaper was so weird. <laughs> that freaking diaper. And then um, the other one that came out was uh, Nick Knack, which I'm, which was so the little cute. snowman, <laughs> little snowman trapped inside a snow globe, trying to get out of the snow globe to go and hang around with, with the biggest tatas <laughs> you've ever seen in your life. Well, she was like a plastic <laughs> doll thing. From but Miami. Like, but, <laughs> but like, 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 she was a toy, and her boobs were bigger than your head. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> what are you going to do anyway? She English? looked like a love doll. <laughs> and then finally, anyway. in 1995, Pixar releases its very first full-length film, which came in the form of Toy Story. Toy Story! Which you all know, come to love and know Toy Story. Love it. That was Pixar's fu first full-length thing ever? That was their first full-length film. 1995. Hmm. Cool. 95. That was the year my sister was born. Was Random one. fact. As you're knocking over bottles and breaking stuff in this... I'm not breaking anything. It's two your years later. after I was born. <laughs> Same. Three years after me. I don't know about you. But anywho, as we say, we're talking about age. So, who remembers seeing Toy Story when they were Actually, a kid? one. One year after you were born? One year. Oh. I was born in 1994. You're Duh, a baby. He's so young. He's the baby. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> So, Toy Story. Who remembers seeing Toy Story when they were a kid? I do. Not in the theater, though. I, I, I don't. I'll... No, of course I've seen Toy Story. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, what are you going to tell me you've never seen Toy Story? Right? You didn't yes. have a childhood unless you watched Toy Story. Like, yep. that was your childhood. Dude, I will, I, I, I'm will. i pretty sure the first Halloween costume that I can remember is Woody. You're Woody? Yeah. Ah. Th that was the, yeah, that was definitely You're... my first Halloween costume I can remember. I don't think I've ever done a cartoon character as a Halloween costume. Yeah, and then... Weirdly enough. Then, like, uh, when I was seven, I think it was Thomas the Tank Engine. You were a train? Love Thomas. Yeah. Alright, anyway, not, not... Not... Not talk about Thomas the Tank Engine. We're not talking about Justin's past. Toy Story right now. Mm -hmm. Nice story here. Toy Story was... Toy, Toy Story, Story was great. Like, there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing more you can say besides Toy yeah. Story was great. That sums it, it all up right there. Plus, we're not all the morals. Plus, we're not even talking about Toy Story. So let's move on. Uh, 
<laughs> but I mean, Toy Story, Toy Story itself has probably, has probably become like the most iconic Pixar movie. It's still one of the bi- biggest. Toy Story 3, I think, is like the highest grossing animated film like just ever. I think it's, I All believe. the feels. Um, All the feels. Don't spoil too much. I haven't seen 3 yet. But mm. most iconic Pixar movie ever. Probably one of the most iconic movies of our childhood. Moving on from there, about three years later, we got A Bug's Life. A Bug's Life. A Bug's Life. One of the it's ones. So cute. One of the ones. I think one of the few Pixar movies that everyone was demanding them to make a sequel, but just won't ever happen. Yeah. Everyone wanted a sequel to Bug's Life, but not gonna happen. <laughs> that and Finding Nemo. There's rumors. Is you already there? Found there is. Nemo. There's. There've been rumors for like the past couple of years about a Finding Nemo two, but I'm kind of hoping that. But now it can be Finding Dory's mind. An insanity psychedelic trip. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> Dory is Isaac Clark in Dead Space 2 dealing with dementia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you just took this to a realm I don't know. A pro- a pro- <laughs> some people probably chuckled a little bit, but. <laughs> Alright. So, A Bug's Life. Obviously, we've probably all seen A Bug's, Bug's Life. Life is great. I, 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 can't, I can't remember any of the characters for the life of me besides that one. I, what was the antagonist? The ant? The 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 ant. It was like <laughs> that wasn't no. an ant. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. Like, oh, the antagonist, the cockroach. Uh, the cockroach. Yeah. The cockroach. yeah I, thought, I thought I thought you were being not a cockroach, a locust. He's a locust. I thought you were being funny, being like a grasshopper. What's the antagonist? of <laughs> an ant. <laughs> Thank you for pulling me a pun. I didn't realize I was making. No, I didn't yeah. see it either. But no, he's a. I thought you were being. A smart he's either guy. a grasshopper. I mean, he's called Hopper, but I don't think he's a grasshopper. I think he's supposed to be a locust. Well, he ain't green. He's a locust. locust. I'm pretty sure he's a locust. Yeah, because he ain't green, so he can't be grasshopper. But yeah, Maybe he's, he's a got hopper. Some hopper the locust. Hmm. He was, I think I, he's probably like, one of the. <laughs> <that's not laughs> I almost hoped that was gonna happen. <laughs> 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 All right, but um, okay. Well, my but, um, heart restart or something. <laughs> <laughs> ah. But I think Hopper was probably one of the, probably one of the, like just the coolest villains out of all the Pixar films. Bi- Pixar didn't make a lot of villains like for the movies because most of them really didn't have like that many villains but I think Hoppa was still well true Sid, Sid but he was only the villain in the first one first Toy Story but I think Hopper is like one of the scariest villains because he's just like he's not scary I don't know I thought he was scary I just thought he was, I just thought he was, I just thought he was, I just thought he was mean he was a yeah, I mean like, he was just a jerk one, Mr. no <laughs> I mean, in the end, yeah, like, obviously, he was all talk, talk stuff like that, but I think that's what was cool about him, was that he could just pretty much convince the ants of nothing, even though they outnumbered them 10,000 brilliant to one. Yeah. yeah. 10,000 brilliant is now a number. Brilliant. Just saying. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brian's brilliant. But he's not brilliant. Oh, jeez. Obviously not. I do the show. <laughs> no, that's a lie. Wow. That makes me feel great. Hey. Moving on. I'm kidding. Any other comments on Public Life? Huh? Anything else about Bug's Life? Besides this awesome... It didn't bug me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you really just like that. <laughs> okay. Anywho. All right, so then a year later is when we got Toy Story 2, which we're not really going to get into much detail, so we're just kind of breeze over that. Oh, Monster Inc. Then we have Monster Inc. in 2001. Monsters Inc. Mike Wazowski! <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. Monsters Inc. was great. That was a really I great one. I wanted my door to look like that. What, the, the pink door with the yes. flower? Mm. I just wanted to open door? it and be like, hey! Mike and Sully. Sully. Yeah. I love Mike Kozowski. He was just, he was so awesome. He was, he, all he wanted to do was go on a date with that one... Medusa-looking Medu- The Medusa-looking Medu- Medusa Medusa yeah. woman. And, oh, that poor guy. <laughs> it was, it was got, funny. Everything got in his way. <laughs> Let's see, I thought the antagonist in this one was kind of creepy. He's just all like oh, um, and I Oh yeah, oh, oh, what was his name? I, he, he wasn't, I don't no, this I wasn't as much as an antagonist as much as the, uh, the, the, uh, their boss. The CEO, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, not the, the, they're, 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 Yeah, you're talking about the, like, his, his, like, rival. Randall. 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 That's his name, Randall. I couldn't think of his he name. He wasn't the CEO. No, 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 but the, the the main antagonist was the CEO. Well, yeah. Because well, he was, like, behind yeah, I, the whole thing with Zap sucking the screams I out of I can't remember. Kids. Was, was Randall, did Randall ever, like, turn good in the end? <laughs> no, nah, he just got the card beaten out of him by a kid with a bat. Right, right, that's right. <laughs> she just, like, grabs on his head and just, like, beating him. Dun, dun, and he keeps, like, changing color each yeah, time. Yeah, no, Ra- Randall was pretty ridiculous and scary. 
He, he was creepy just because the whole like he was really creepy. the whole um I did not the whole him. camouflage factor. We got some rambunctious kids outside. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just like the whole like camo factor made him really kind of like a creepy guy. Mm. Yeah, I would say like if, and he just saw like everywhere all the time. Yeah, but, I mean between Randall and Sully, I rather than I have Randall in the in my, <laughs> coming out of my closet to scare me, because he's freaky. But but real quick. Toy Story, I can understand the concept. Talking toys, yeah, or, or l- l- trying to live a life, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, talking bugs, you know, a little divergent off of talking animals, but you can still see where you got the influence. Monsters, Inc., a city where monsters live in which they have portals to, hum- to, to the human world where they scare people, and their scares are their energy. Who came up with that one? That's pretty brilliant. Idea. Um, yeah. that, that's a pretty the crab guy who was the CEO. Taking monsters <laughs> that was his from idea, under I the think. bed idea into this whole. Well, technically, awesome. the monsters in the closet idea. I meant the people the who are writing it, not the characters inside the movie. What do you mean? One that I don't know. It's an idea. I was saying because that's some that that's not something you think of every day. I don't know about you, but I do. Well, you're probably thinking about, <laughs> thinking about the monsters in the closet and, like, what if they actually had lives and stuff? No, but well, the, the whole fact that... He, well, I realize that, but the whole... You could, but you think that it would be about everything within the monster world. You would... You, the, the whole after fact that, oh, yeah, their energy is our screams. Well, I guess... That's it, that. That's the part that's, that's, that's a little yeah. interesting. That was probably just a way to kind of say, like, okay, there's, there's this whole idea that monsters come out of come out of the closets come to scare us so they, it's like well why would they be coming to scare us maybe they need our screams to power their stuff one of those things but who so- thinks that <laughs> Pixar apparently <laughs> Pixar. Pixar I mean these are the people who came up with like talking cars and robots and flying houses with balloons well I mean come on but, oh great but, but sla- slapping human characteristics on inanimate objects and non-human things has been going around forever well yeah so that's not something a Pixar necessarily invented. Talking cars? There's. What are you talking about? They Thomas the Tank Tank Engine. They didn't you mentioned Pixar it. didn't invent talking cars. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. But I'm like, these are the same. The people who came up with the whole idea of cities powered by screams are the same one that came up with the idea of an entire, like, world just filled of talking. Or you know, a rat cars. cooking meals. Or a rat cooking a food in France. Yeah. Uh, I mean, who comes up with that one? Who thinks of that? Oh, no, but, but, but I, I can see. I, you know what? I would actually think of Ratatouille before I would think of Monster Inc. Because rats are always something you see. You know, you know, and especially in restaurants, that's the last place you want to see them. And you know, now you have a human-like rat who wants to be a chef. Not only a chef, but a, a chef in a high-class French restaurant. Hmm. True. But we'll talk more about that later. Hmm. Um. That's now there is. Think- and now, since we're on the topic, sometime this year, I believe in the summer, June 21st is when they're supposed to be released, that they're doing Monsters University, which is supposed to be yeah. like the prequel to Monsters, Inc. Van Wilder, Monsters, Inc. Van Wilder, Monsters, Inc. <laughs> oh, boy. But I'm interested. I think there's a trailer, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they have a trailer out, or at least a teaser or something for Monsters yeah. University. Yeah. Yeah, I know that I've seen the trailers. Yeah, dude, Sully looks like a jerk. Sully is like the like the jockiest of jocks. Well, I mean, how else? You gotta think. Mike Wazowski's like obviously was the kid yeah, who was the big nerd in, high, ner- in nerd. school. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, how is he gonna be friends with a big guy like him? He had to have been the bully, and he had to have gotten no, together but, for some reason. Classic uh, ploy. Freaking no, classic. I won't. I can't see Sully Sully like that because he's such a good. He has such a good heart. Yeah. I'm curious what Randall's gonna be like. Assuming he's going to be in this movie, I'd be surprised Randall. if he wasn't. He's probably going to be a, ri- a rival to uh, Sully. Well, yeah, obviously. They have to have the whole like childhood rivalry and stuff like that. But I'm curious, like, How what, he's gonna be. what stereotype is he going to be? Because I can't see him being the bully, particularly because it's like the university of the probably so play. My like, girlfriend, I can't, I can't remember her name for the life of me. I'm just going to call her Medusa. It's probably going to be like the hottest girl in the school. <laughs> Bet you anything on that. Yeah. Probably. I'm trying to think Just of her name. Just the absolute hottest me. thing to ever exist in the monster world ever. Maybe. Besides that lovely sight that that one slug woman was that uh, behind behind the security desk who who. Oh yeah, her. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> What's her name? What? Oh. Uh, she just looks like okay, a bright. I gotta, I gotta look this up she now. She just looks like a bright, bright, sunny day. 
<laughs> oh yeah, totally. I, oh god, cast, cast, come on. Cast. Oh my god, she was so. Cast, harsh. cast, give me the cast. It's gotta be. Dang you, Wikipedia. Why aren't you on IMDb? Me. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you I'm on Wikipedia? I'm trying to figure But yeah, it sounds like a cool movie, though. What, Monsters University? University, yeah. Yeah. Mm. She has to be in it. What's her name? Is her name Rand? No. Uh. Gosh. D -d 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 -d. Celia. That was the Medusa, Medusa. chick. That was Medusa? Was Celia, yeah. Roz. No, it wasn't Roz. Who was Roz? Mm. Who the heck was, uh... You know, I wish on IMDb th they would give you a, 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 a photo of the actor and then a photo of the character they played. Yeah, particularly for animated films. Yeah. <laughs> this is not helping. <laughs> Whatever her name was, I can't remember. But anyway. regardless, that's all she was. Anyways, right. she was just the, mo the hottest thing to ever walk in the animated universe. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Uh, the slug lady that worked the security desk. That Mike, that that that, that hated she Mike. She was like huge. What are you guys talking about? Her. I'm being sarcastic. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought this was some kind of like. No. Okay. I was like, I don't remember this movie as well as I I'm thought. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. <laughs> oh my god. Was the story the hottest thing? <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Go in a corner and think about your life. Uh, <laughs> Finding Nemo was the next one Pixar released, 2003. It's a cute movie. Insert some sort of joke about the snowstorm that just came through here. Okay. The snowstorm was named Nemo. Nemo. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, That's the great. snowstorm was named Nemo. Insert some sort of joke here that I can't think of right now. We found Nemo, and Nemo's sitting outside. So, anywho. I don't see a fish out there. And things There's the bad joke. All head. right. There's the bad joke. <laughs> All right, but Finding Nemo. What can you say about Finding Nemo? Was what? what awesome. Right, here's Cute the idea. What? Here's a better question. What are things that you did not like about Finding Nemo? Um, oh, case closed. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I don't know. I haven't. I can't really think of something I hated in Monsters Inc. Either. All right. So, so here's what here's what I think. You know, what I didn't like about Finding Nemo. What? There was no mermaids or pirates. It's about fish. Yeah, there's no mermaids or pirates. Mermaids would be like gigantic next to them. Yeah, and there there were none of them. There weren't there. But I mean, there were humans and seagulls, so I can understand the point. But why would there be pirates when it's supposed to take place in modern why day? Why not? Mm -hmm. There's modern day pirates. <laughs> they just don't look like Jack Sparrow. No pirates look like Jack Sparrow. They yeah. should though. No pirates wear an eyeliner. No pirates mm -hmm. look like Jack Sparrow or look like Orlando Bloom. I'm they sorry. They should. They should. Oh yeah, with that, with that, with that hot scurvy. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, scurvy. Tasty. Gotta love. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Must uh, have been scrumptious kissing one of those lads. Finding Nemo. Best part about Finding Nemo by far has to be Dory, because it's Ellen DeGeneres. Is it? Is it really? You really didn't know that? I know. I, I never really cared to look up the cast. Yeah, that's Ellen. Ha. <laughs> Huh. That's all the more respect for her I have right now. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's why that one that's one of the other reasons why Dory is great, just because it's voiced by Ellen DeGeneres, who is just hysterical as it is. Never made. But yeah, she voices Dory. Wow. Next, I now you'll next Nemo. now next time you watch Finding Nemo, all you're gonna be thinking about is that uh, that is Ellen DeGeneres. That's all I'm gonna picture. I'm gonna see Ellen's face on Dory. It works. <laughs> it works, but yeah, Finding Nemo. Not much to say about Finding Nemo. Something as far as bad things Some, go. As far as bad things, yeah, you can't really say anything about bad about it. Supposedly, there's been rumors of Finding Nemo 2, and according to Wikipedia, it says roughly 2016 is when it's supposed to come out, which I'm hoping no, because mm -hmm. I don't understand how you make a movie well, to a find second to Finding again. Nemo when he's already found. <laughs> I know. But uh, the mm -hmm. story's complete. Yeah, I mm -hmm. mean, you completed the story. There's nothing more lost, to tell. He got found. Mm -hmm. He got lost, he got found, relationship fixed, there's nothing else to throw in there unless the shark is gonna like come. Now, sharks are no longer vegetarian. Or unless pirates are gonna come and take Nemo. No. <laughs> Just no. Nemo, not any other fish. Okay. Fighting Nemo too! His or dad maybe, goes missing! Or maybe Dory and Marlin? Martin? Marlin. Marlin. Mar Marlin? I got it right. right. Like maybe Martin. Dory and Marlin had babies and now all of them went missing? That's it. Probably then, not. 
or that just seems like a, a dozen really... sixteen. Oh god. Let's not talk about those movies. Let's just not. What movies? Cheaper, Cheaper by, the, by dozen. the Dozen. Oh god. I hate those movies. <laughs> I do. Really, really bad. Ow, man. What? You kicked me. Oh, don't put your leg there. All right, oh, let's move on to Finding Nemo. The Incredible Bless. The Incredibles. The Incredible Bless. The Incredible. We Incredible. I like starring The Incredible Bless. The Inc. The what? The Incredible Bless. The Incredible Bless. Are you making a joke or are you just being silly? I'm just being silly. Okay. Like just it. making sure. <laughs> <laughs> is that not what you were Not even relative. No! Not even relative. But <laughs> Lame is. I thought that's what you guys were talking that'll about. Be another, that'll be another episode. I haven't even seen Lame is. That'll be another Although episode when you go to see it. it. I'm not the seeing Lame is. <sighs> no. Uh, no. Yes. No. You will go to a musical and you will like it. I don't like musicals. <laughs> Anywho, The Incredibles. Alright, so The Incredibles. Definitely one of those ones I think a lot of, It's one of those ones that when I talk to people, that's the one they don't like. I don't know why, but a lot of people I know didn't like The Incredibles. Well, I, I don't mean, know why. Pixar trying to do superhero stuff is a little cheesy, but at the same time, it was me. It, it was, I thought it was fun. It was a fun movie to watch. Yeah. It was I thought it was great. Yeah. It wasn't so bad. Uh, Syndrome was hysterical. However, <laughs> unlike the other Pixar films, I really don't remember it that well. I see, that's the one I see all the time, probably because that's the one I catch on TV all the time. That one and Ratatouille. Those are always the two that are on TV, like, all the time lately. I, and Cars. I, 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 Cars gets overplayed to death. I but we'll get to that I, one I think I saw the... I think, honestly, I think I've only watched The Incredibles one time through, and that's when I saw it in theaters. I think the only, actually, Pixar films I ever saw in theaters were Finding Nemo... Actually, I think Finding Nemo was the only one I went to theaters to see. Mm-hmm. And, and then maybe Wally. No, not even Wally. I think I think I find, think I saw Nemo's only one I saw in theater. I think I saw a Bug's Life in theaters. I don't know if I saw Toy Story two in theater. No, I didn't see Toy Story the two. Only in theaters. one I saw in theaters was Toy Story three. That's it. You never saw any of the others in theaters. Mm-hmm. Wow. Nah. I didn't go to much theaters as a kid, yeah. so like when I did, it was rare. But I think Finding Nemo was the only one I actually ever saw in theaters. Yeah, I can't really I remember remember The Incredibles at all. It was all right. Like, movie. there was that dude with the stupid orange anime hair. Syndrome. Syndrome. Syn- syndrome? Syndrome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeez. He's very whiny. Yeah. Uh, well, he, 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 was, he was the fanboy, that's why. I know, but it's just like, oh, my ears. Was he also the antagonist? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. He was, the fan, he was like the... Rejected fanboy. The rejected right. fanboy, so he turned a villain. And he was very just like, I'm going to kill off all the superheroes, and then I'll be a superhero. He did succeed in killing a lot of superheroes. Yeah. Like a I mean, like, the uh, the funny thing is about, like, his evil plan, like, it made sense to a point. It actually did make sense. Kill all the superheroes, then when none of them are left, he can just show up with all his cool science, he can be the superhero. Yeah. Then he, then there's the whole thing, like, then, he's like, then when I'm done, I'll just sell my adventures and everyone can be superheroes, so then no one will be because everyone's the same. Yeah. Which was, which was an interesting idea, so. So then people, actually, like, like it's one of those things, like, <laughs> with a supervillain, you expect, like, a really, like, silly contrived plan but you look at his and he's like no that seems to actually kind of make good sense like makes sense yep. it could work it could work not all can handle that power not Spider-Man Cars I mean, Cars, Cars I, I didn't really watch too much of it I watched parts of it the most overplayed of every Pixar movie I think is Cars it had Larry the Cable Guy in it mm. as true as that is that's Larry probably the, the only part Larry, Larry the Cable Guy did a Pixar film Two Pixar films. He did two Pixar films, yeah. I got another sequel. Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> did a Pixar film. Did two Pixar films. <laughs> Only so much you can say about that. I mean... Granted, the character was funny. Oh, I liked Mater. He was cool. He was funny. <laughs> he was goofball. I, the movie is itself, I'm like... I'm like... I like the story. I like the morals behind it. The film as a whole, it's the one I really don't care for. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if Cars is on, I'll don't, if it's on TV and there's nothing else, I'll sit there and watch it just because, why not? I'm not too into it. And that's why I love Hulu and Netflix. Yeah, Hulu. true. That is that, that's why Netflix exists. Ratatouille. But, wow, we got through Cars quickly. Ratatouille uh, impressed Ratat- me immensely. That was it. I first Ratatouille um, seems so dumb as far as the trailers go, and I actually ended up going to see it in theaters only because my family really, really wanted me to go with them, and it was a really well-made movie. Yeah, 
the acting was good. The story was good. I enjoy. I enjoyed Ratatouille and and the chef. They, every I enjoyed it mm. very immensely. This is. It was one of those films that. It's like again came out. I never really went to go see it in theaters, and I just didn't really have a desire to go and see it. And then like my sister saw it in, her, in it's, class or something it's like that, a and Pixar. she was like. You have to see this. You would absolutely yeah. love it. It's definitely a hidden gem of Pixar. It is. It's like yeah. a hidden... And, like, finally it was on, like, ABC Family or something like that. And so I was like, sit down and watch this. She's like, because you will love it. I sat down and watched it. I'm like, you are actually right. That was... It was just on the other movie. night. Yeah. Great. It was just on the other night. I was watching it. I was just like, oh, this is such a great movie. It was just movie. a really, really well made... I couldn't give you a specific scene for, for worth anything right now because I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. But it was a really well made movie. It really was. Um... The characters are all really great. Um, favorite part, one of the favorite parts about this one was probably like how um, when um, the chef whose name I can't remember off the top of my head because I can't Which think one? of cast names. Uh, the main character that wasn't the the rap. ginger. <sighs> yeah, the ginger. <laughs> oh um, shoot, I don't remember his name either. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name, but I just remember he was uh, the son. Oh, Linguini. Linguini, yeah. He was, Cute name. Oh. Linguini, yeah, really. Weird name, if but. Uh, after pasta. But yeah, no, I really like that movie because um, I think my favorite scene was when the food critic came in and he just tried the ratatouille and he was just like childhood. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was like Ant- oh. yeah, Ant- uh, what was it? Antoine, Ant- Anton Ego, Antoine Eagle, e- e- Ego. His last name is literally Ego. Anton Ego. Anton Ego. Not Antoine. I don't know where I got Antoine. Yeah, Anton Ego. Anton Ego. Ego. It's like your last name is Ego. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and you're a critic. <laughs> get it, get it. He Got was it. cool. I liked him. I found um, Emo. It was interesting kind of like to have like a villain sort of in the film, but turned out it wasn't really a villain. It was the just, villain was more of that short chef. Yeah, um, can't think of his name. Um, he was... I can't, it, again, the whole thing. I, Andy, put the picture of the character when it's animated. I don't remember. Right. <coughs> Skinner, but. maybe? No, I don't think his name was Skinner. Was he Skinner? Mm-mm. I don't know which one was Skinner. You tell me. I hear Skinner. I think League of Extra- Extraordinary Gentlemen because I think of the Invisible Man. We should review that, by the way. Just saying, we need to review that. Never seen it, but... Oh, I love it. So, um... But... I'm sorry. I'll move. But, yeah, like, just them going through, like, with, um... Uh, when the girl, what's... Uh, Col- Emily? Colette? Oh, Colette. Like, she's, like, talking about how, like, each of the chefs, like, each, they each have, like, their own little backstory and how they ended up working in the kitchen. I just thought that was such They're a neat so thing. Funny. Yeah, because some of them are just so funny. I mean, the best one is, I killed a man with this thumb. <laughs> He's the best. I can't remember which one he was, but he was one of the coolest. Just um, the backstories each of them had. And um, just the, the moral behind this one, too, is great. Like, just being, like, Follow your dreams, be who you want to be, which, I don't know. This one is one of those morals I just love. Disney vomit. Disney vomit. <laughs> That's what that was, Disney vomit. Be who you want to be, follow your dreams. <laughs> hey, if it works. <laughs> it works. It was a good movie overall. I'm looking at Justin going, what are you doing over there? <laughs> He's just like, I don't know. I got no comment. I really liked it. I think it was one of the top ones of my favorites. Yeah, yeah moving like, on. Fine. No, I, was I thought say the rat was cute. <laughs> the rat was cute. Moving on to one of my other favorites, Wally, which came out in 08, 2008. Never seen it. You never, never saw seen it. Am I really? Oh, wow, you guys are missing out. Wally. It's, 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 but it's a cute little robot. It's like a robot Ta-da. romance, right? Yeah. I th- Tell us about like, it. The only encounter I've had with Wally was when I was playing Battlefield 3. <laughs> what? There's this little robot that you can that you can get and it's and it, you can control it, and uh, the, what the robot can do it can arm charges and also disable them. And one of the main points of the game of the specific game we were playing was to arm two specific targets. So mm-hmm. it came to a point where we were ju- where, where we were just completely beachside and we couldn't get to the charges at all. And so you just hear one dude say, Okay, guys, I got this. I'm sending it in Wally. So he dropped it down and arms both charges and we win. Thanks to Wally. <laughs> <laughs> My closest encounter to Wally was ROB in Super Smash Brothers. Rob? Yeah. 
<laughs> very similar design. Yeah. yeah very actually. similar design. Oh, uh, how uh, his eyes kind of look kind of look like binoculars. Yeah, the eyes are similar. Kind of like both have the tracks for feet and the arms. They just look, Yeah, they do look very similar. Wow. Yeah. I actually never noticed that before. Now mm. you know. That's the interesting. Now you know. But, um, now while it was a cute movie, just because it's like the cute little robot, robot, romance, romance, I don't know, but Rob, robot man. There's know. all the connecting of circuits. <laughs> <laughs> You're Mr. Puns, aren't you? You're just Mr. Puns. He's punny. But, uh, very punny. I was going to say something. I'm tired, I'm sorry. So he's but punny. One of the, one of the neatest things about this movie is that, like, for the good, like, first, like, half of it, there's not much in spoken word except for like Wally just saying his name every once in a while just saying like well, one word things and and um the Wally, other I choose you Eve. oh jeez Wall- wait Wally and Eve Eve that's the name of the other robot yeah Eve yeah wasn't the whole thing about wasn't the whole premise about the movie like the apocalypse happened or something the whole idea and was that then people um, got too fat because the apocalypse happened and then moved to outer space you're what? Partially light in one way, shape, or form. Um, it was more the idea like Earth just got so overcrowded with just all the garbage and stuff like that that the planet just became polluted, and it was like very was like very dangerous. So they basically took like all the humans and sent them out on like giant spacecraft, giant pleasure cruises into space. That's for like it's like it's like a five year program. We'll send them out and then. A bunch of stay back and like robots like Wally would clean up the planet, clean up all the garbage and dispose of it and get the earth cleaned up again for them all to come back. But what happened is that it the planet just the pollution accelerated quicker than they expected and it just became inhabitable, so they just said, Just keep so they sent like a message saying, Just keep flying around until who knows what, we'll figure out something. So like the ship has actually been in air for like I don't know how many years, like 200 years or something like that. It's actually been flying out in space. And, like, Wally's, like, the last robot that's still, like, a working or Operation. not doing his thing. And then, like, Eve is, like, probes that get sent back to Earth every once in a while, just, like, automatically to check and see if the Earth is habitable by finding, like, if there's any sign of plants or just any anything growing, living on that planet that right, right. to show it's habitable again. And yep. then Wally ends up going back to the ship with Eve, and then that's when all the crazy nonsense that's happening but it's a really 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 cool movie i think it's just it's really cute it's got the whole like hum- humans are being lazy kind of thing thrown in there mm-hmm. like don't get lazy because mm-hmm. then you all get fat and you like lose your bones but that was from the anti-gravity and whatnot nice yeah it's like you, they talk about it. it's lose like you your well, bones yeah because uh the whole anti-gravity thing kind of like messed with their skeletons and stuff like that so they had like Close to no bones. I don't know the science Ew. behind it. I don't know. That's just what happened in the film. Ew. I don't know the science behind it. But Wally, great film. Check it out. Um, uh, next is uh, Up. Uh, all the feelings. Uh, I did not see. Everyone was freaking uh, out about Up when this first came so out. Freaking cute. That poor dude. <laughs> the old man. That poor dude. What was his name? So angry. <laughs> Not even so angry, just the beginning. Oh my god. Oh my god, I know. That poor dude. <sighs> the beginning of uh, I didn't see Up for the longest time, because like this came this came out in two thousand and nine. I don't think I saw it till like two thousand and eleven. Neither did I. I didn't see it for the so longest cool. time until my girlfriend at the time sat me down and said, "Let's watch this film." And I'm like, "All right," and I watched it. And I was just like, "Really? That was Wally?" I'm disappointed, because. That was Up. You mean? Up. <laughs> Whoopsie. Because everyone made such a big deal about Up and saying it was such a great movie. It's so awesome, so awesome. I love the first 20 minutes. But the romance part? The, the whole thing with him and the woman and like the whole love and her dying and everything like that was great. Then once the house leaves and starts going on the trip, that's when I start losing interest. And that dude's all like, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> I love the balloon scene. Ah. Well, right. a, there's a lot of those. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of balloons. All of them is what I meant. Yes, there are a lot of balloons, Brian. So which balloons are you talking about? The whole movie? All of them. (laughs) All of it. That's descriptive. It was towards the end, wasn't it? The balloon scene? I like... Which one are you talking about? There's balloons in half the film. Whatever. (sighs) Never mind. That's the point I'm making. Which scene are you talking about? I don't quite remember every moment of the movie. All I remember is that they they lifted up the house with all the balloons, 
and then um, the little boy's falling out. I think of the doorstep, right? Um, or was he falling out? It was one of them was falling out of the house. I don't remember because at the end the house stays on the cliff. It stays at the little cliff unless you think about it, in the beginning where the, he first takes off in that takes off in the house and like he has a knock on the porch and it's like what the heck and opens it up and the kid's like on the porch like scared out yeah. of his mind. Oh, that's at the beginning. Oh. That's the beginning of the film when that happens. Anyway, <laughs> that's my favorite part. He's like, oh, he saved him. I mean, I love the first uh, like first twenty minutes or so of the film where it had the whole like. His whole story about his life and stuff like that, but it's, after that, I just I was like, ah, I don't really no, wake up. It's <laughs> falling asleep over there. But it's like after that, so I don't know. I just thought the story no, was. I, I, I didn't get my sleep last night. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, like okay, he wants to bring like even the whole thing with um he has to move cons- constructing and he doesn't want to move the house or anything like that, and he decides to go on like the adventure of bringing the house. To the cliff. I mean, that was all. Where's the whole thing, though, it was. I mean, even the little kid was alright, but the whole thing with the. The guy with the dogs, like, trying to hunt down this bird, that's when I was just like, where are you pulling this one from? Like, that just seemed. I don't know. It just seemed like somewhat out of nowhere. I don't know. I just didn't like it. That whole little plot line, I was just like, I could do without it. Yeah. I'm like, just give me the story of the guy bringing the house well, they over some to the filler. cliff. Yeah, I guess you need a filler, but. And they wanted to introduce that talking dog. Hi there. My name is Doug. <laughs> Granted, that was like the biggest, like, everyone was running around going, yeah. Squirrel! <laughs> Hi there. It, mm-hmm. That was like the biggest mm-hmm. reoccurring joke for like ever, but. I just feel like this movie had a lot of meaning and it was very sentimental and it was just like, oh, hug the man. Hug him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. For me, I'm like, it's cute, but I just thought it was overhyped. I mean, from when I finally saw it, I just felt it was so overhyped to me. Um, after Up, we had Toy Story 3 in 2010, where, like, almost every kid of our generation, like, died oh, of the inside. I have yet to see it. All the yet feelings. to see it. Which is annoying. <laughs> I have yet to see it. <laughs> then we had Cars 2, the most pointless sequel that was ever needed, because Cars did not need a sequel. Didn't see the first or the second. I didn't... S- I haven't gone to see the second one, just because I'm like, no, I didn't care for the first one. I'm <laughs> probably not going to care for the second one. Stay awake over there if you can. <laughs> did you see Cars 2? Hmm? Did you see Cars 2? No, I did not. Okay. So we'll skip Cars 2 because that was just Disney trying to make more money. And then the most recent one was Brave, which Brave. I haven't gone to see Brave yet. It looks really cute, though. I haven't either. It looks like a great film. I've heard good things from anyone who has gone to see it. They said, yeah, it was a pretty good film. Like They all said, like, it's not Pixar's best. Right? Well, nothing, is toy- nothing beats Toy Story. She's not very brave. Have you seen it? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had to get up to make that joke, but I hear good things. I've yet yeah, to go and see it. She's like Scottish, right? And she's a Scottish princess, and she's trying to not be married to suitors, right? Yeah, something like that. And see, I'm kind of confused with this movie because there's like two different plot lines. Is that whole plot line where the whole arranged marriage hullabaloo? Oh, but then there's is. also some one where I think she accidentally wishes her mother into a bear. I don't know where that what? comes from. I, this is just from, like, previews and stuff I've seen on TV, and they talk about it. But, like, her mom turns into a bear. I don't know why or how or where that comes about, but apparently that happens. Uh, I don't know what it is. Bears. I don't know. Her mother turns into a bear. That's all That's I... That's so awesome. I wish Brian would turn into a bear. Why would you want me to turn... Ding. Why do you want me to turn into a bear? I don't know. It would be cool if it just happened. No, but then I might try to eat you. You can eat Justin first. And then I'll pet you, and then we'll be best buddies forever. Apparently, I'm meeting you first, Justin. Sorry, Justin. I'll start with the brains. Mm-hmm. All right. You're a zombie bear? Yes. That's no fun. Why not? A zombie bear? Like that sounds freaking awesome. Your flesh is falling off. Huh? Yeah, your flesh is falling off. And that's different from a normal human zombie how? I just wanted you to be a normal bear. Just a normal bear. She just wants you to be a normal human bear. Yes. <laughs> Bear Why? human. Why do you want a bear? I don't know. Mammoth. Why do you Bears want are a cute. bear? Bears are cute. Until they eat you. You wouldn't eat me if you're full from Justin. <laughs> yes, you would. No, oh, where's he going to put it all? 
I love how he's not actually protesting the fact that I'm eating him. I he's know. just protesting the fact saying like that, that I would not be full after eating him. Yeah. But we got a couple shorts here that we didn't talk about. Oh, yeah, the, the bunch of other shorts. Let's talk about the first one. Mm. We had... Um, I mentioned that. We had Jerry's Game, which I think is the most classic short, which is the one of the old man playing chess on himself, which was for... I think came with either Bugs Life or Toy Story. I think it was Toy Story. It was so cute. Oh, first but, time I've ever seen it. That was the first time you ever saw it? Yeah. We saw it earlier. I saw a bunch of these for the first time. Yeah, that one was cute. For the Birds, I think, is probably one of the, the everyone's favorite. Um, I think it's just, like, everyone's favorite, because that's one, like, I think even Disney Channel, once in a blue moon, I'll flip the Disney Channel, and suddenly that short is on play, for yeah. just no reason, but it's on. It's cute. But, um, I don't know. It seems to be, like, one of the favorites. I, I think it's just because everyone thinks it's hysterical with the big bird and trying to be with the other birds and stuff. And then they all end up bald. And I think it's also because it's like that's one of those scenarios that everybody has lived at least once in their life, being either all the birds talking about that guy or that Rudolph, everyone being that guy. Reindeer. Yeah, Rudolph. Was it you that mentioned Rudolph? Yes. It was Rudolph. Yeah. So I, I was Rudolph. singing it with, to him. With for the birds. You're uh, saying how it's very right, Rudolph. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rudolph yeah. S. And you said um, one man band um. Like, after For the Birds, most of these other ones I never really saw except Presto. Presto's Presto. another one that I think everyone loved with the... Presto! The whole thing with the magician and the rabbit. That one's hysterical. That, that poor rabbit magician. was very sarcastic. He must take after Bugs. He must take after Bugs Bunny. But, um... That's one of those ones I first, like... It started popping up around, like, Disney Channel. I think they started showing it. And I didn't even realize it was actually a Pixar show for the longest time until I saw, like, the opening credits. I'm like, oh, Pixar animations. It's Pixar for sure. But, it was um, super cute. Oh, I loved it. It was just so great. That it's one like, was just really funny. You go, Barney. You that go. One, <laughs> it's funny, but I feel so bad for the magician. Right? Because he gets beaten the heck out of. Beaten, electrocuted, all that other stuff. Smacked with a ladder between the legs. <gasps> and everywhere Ow. else. And everywhere else. <laughs> but that one was great. Pixar has definitely made some awesome films. Hopefully, they'll keep going Pixar with the awesomeness really nice that they do. Pixar is really nice with the movies. I like watching Pixar movies. Pixar does... It's... It just, they're it's, not so overly cheesy. No, they're I not feel so. Like over- Disney movies can be. Yeah, Disney movies can be. Though, though, was impressed at Wreck It Ralph. Yeah. That oh, one managed to fit its. Great. That one was one of those ones that everyone kept saying was that a Pixar film, and everyone was like, "No, that wasn't." That's the surprising part is that it wasn't a Pixar film, but. It was so cute. Oh, it was. I loved then it. Then of course the short Paper Man that was before it. Paper Man was great. Paper Man. <laughs> Paper Man. <laughs> Don't talk too much. Heart, that one we definitely heart, have to. Heart. Have you gone to see Wreck It Ralph yet? Ah, uh, you need to go see Wreck It Ralph. Well, it's coming out on DVD soon, so we'll show it to him. All right, so one of us will pick it up on DVD, yeah. and we'll show it to you because Cindy that one. will probably pick it up. No, oh, that is true. So hopefully, we'll you'll see us do an episode of. We shall. Wreck It Ralph. And you will hear all about Paper Man. And yeah, we'll probably spend all like half of it talking about Paper Man. But um, <laughs> all about it. I have no idea how long we've been recording. How long have we been recording, Milka? Forty-two minutes. Forty-two minutes. I think we'll just wrap it up right here instead of dragging okay. the sun too much more. So, because <laughs> Justin wants to go to bed. Um, so just wrap this up. We've got, I don't know how many movies, I didn't count them, but of all the Pixar films, top three. Just name your top three 13. and why. Out of 13, out of the 13 films, name what your top three are. Me? All of us, yeah. Me? We'll start with Carissa. Yeah. Ladies first. My top three, maybe not in this order, but my top three is Up, Toy Story 3, and... Ratatouille. Top Why? three. Why? Why? Up is just like... Huh. <laughs> All the feels. I'm such a romantic that I just... I enjoy that movie to death. <laughs> and Toy Story 3 breaks my heart, but you know, it's like... Oh, my childhood. I know this feeling. I felt this way going to college. <laughs> and finally, what was the last one? Ratatouille. Oh, it's just like that whole movie is just like yes, comedy, funny, French people, you know. All the while I was French thinking people. about it, while I was watching, I was like, "That's really unsanitary. I wouldn't want to eat something made by a rat." Bubonic plague. <laughs> Sick. I think this takes place after that whole incident was like well over and done with. Does not matter. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Reading about it once is like all right. Right. Eating from a rat. Now, what would be your least favorite? And then the critic was just like, okay with it. It's like, what's wrong with you? A rat <laughs> made your food. He, he explains his reason for uh, being okay with it, though, in the his little monologue no, he has. but it's still not okay. 
Ah, jeez. So my least three favorite, you said? No, just the one least favorite. One least favorite. It would have to be... Cars. I did never... In the... It never intrigued me. I saw clips of it. It's just like I couldn't get attached to it. It was kind of lame for mm. me. I didn't really like it. All right. Justin. Justin. Top, top three. Top three favorites. Um, From the 13. Fighting Nemo. The Incredibles. And Toy Story 1. Why? Toy Story 1 is just... Toy Story okay. 1 is just a product of my childhood. It's yeah. a sim- simple fact of the matter. It's just it's. I loved the movie when I was a kid, and I still and still enjoyable to watch now. Monsters Inc. I I absolutely can I connect very very much with uh, Mike, and his <laughs> being kind of the outcast ish of the school. Yeah. Wanting some wanting some wanting some love when he can't have it. You mm-hmm. know, I feel for him. And um, The Incredibles. We just I like The Incredibles. I like I those. just liked it. Yeah. Least favorite. One. Um. Unless you hate them all. Cars are my least favorite. It was fun to watch, but the I just it was spoken. just my least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and Bugs Life was pretty okay, but it was boring at parts. No. It was... Stare intently into the paper. Right. <laughs> and that's all I really saw that I would yeah. actually rank as. Least favorite. least favorite or most favorite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For me, I mean, I me. liked Up, but I, did, but I didn't really not like it at yeah. the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was my thing with Up. But, um, such a pain in the butt to try and pick a top three. Um, you can do it. it, it it's a pain in the butt. We believe Number in three you. would probably actually be a tie between Finding Nemo and The Incredibles. I can't pick one, one of them for number three just because Finding Nemo is just hysterical, and I think in The Incredibles is just. An awesome film. Number two, I would probably have to say Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Just because I think Ratatouille... I just love Ratatouille. I love the story behind it. I, it's, for some reason, that one just became one of my favorites. And number one, it's... T- uh, number one, I have to say Wally. Just because for some reason... Oh. Wally's at one. If I hear it's playing, I'll go there in an instant to see it. Just because I love Wally. I just... I don't know why. I think it's just because the whole fact that like a lot of the film there's not much talking and it's more just visual. So for so, I just love the film more so for that. I I feel bad because Toy Story is not anywhere in my top three, but I think Toy Story is just up there just for nostalgia reasons. That's why I love. It's not really like a top three favorite. Just nostalgia, nostalgic, awesome. Yes, nostalgic, awesome. And least favorite is Cars. Yeah. Cars and up. The people have spoken. Those are my least favorite. So, so, so apparently Cars is the one you might as well just not bother watching, since apparently all three of us said not our favorites. But, make your own opinion. Go check out all the Pixar films if you haven't. Go look up the They're shorts. Great. Look up the shorts. I think I'm with, pretty much every single one of them is up on YouTube. Knickknack is my favorite. Knickknack. So dang cute. <laughs> but the snowman. Snowman in the globe. Snowman, the poor snowman. <laughs> Even at the end, he still doesn't get it. Yeah. They're all, they're all pretty great shorts. He doesn't get any of that mermaid ass. <laughs> Thank you for watching the, our episode of Brain Critic. Stay tuned on Anchor TV Please. for all of the great stuff. What? Mer- hey, Chris, you say yourself up for that one pretty badly. Come on. <laughs> all right. Stay tuned for our next episode of Brain Critic 2 soon. See you guys soon. The hottest mermaid <laughs> ever. Oh, jeez.